Now, as you saw when I walked in here, uh, this appears to be a cave entrance, but what it is is two bluffs that are pushed up against each other. So it gives the appearance of a cave opening. Now in the background here, you can see uh, this tree lit up and it's got, you know, the sky is, I can clearly see the sky from here. And then it's got some exit points out through here. So this was used previously as a campground area, but it looks like it's been grown up and not as many people are coming back here. Now there was graffiti on the wall when I come in, so it's still being used um, and abused, but it, it is a spectacular area. So um, what I noticed was this tree and it is just getting lit up on this one side. And I think I've got it overblown in the camera right now, so I'll show up a little bit better, but I'm gonna try to take a picture of this here probably do a stack job or a, a photo merge where I can get the you know the darker part in the back there with this bright blown out part make it all kind of work together so yeah this is a this is a really cool area um, this is just one of the stops one of the caves uh, of the Garden of the Gods so I'm gonna spend some time here and uh, look for compositions and see what I can get Okay, I've uh, moved back from where I was filming at over here just a second ago, and um, I'm trying to incorporate uh, this triangle here, and I'm also trying to minimize the graffiti that's here and over here. So I'm trying to minimize that. And I'm trying to keep that tree not quite in the center, but at a intersection with this uh, crack in this bluff. So I want to keep it separate from this bluff here, but uh, I want it to intersect also. So let me show you what I've got in the back of my camera. Now, that, like I said, this is going to be a, a photo merge, an HDR image. Um, there's just too much contrast in here not to do it that way. So yeah, that's somewhat my composition there. And I'm using F11. And what I will do is take uh, one picture and get this area here. Then I'll go ahead and take another picture focusing on here. And then I'll get into here and I'll take this uh, exposure compensation down um, quite a bit. So probably like negative three. Um, I'll need to check the histogram to see if I'm blowing out. It doesn't look like I'm blowing out. I'm shooting raw. And this is going to be f11. It won't be f4. Uh, won't be 4.5. So it doesn't look like I'm blowing out anything there. Got some fingerprints on there. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, see how that all works together. So I may get something usable, but um, if I don't, I've got some really good video from back here. So I'm happy with that. Okay, I found another composition here, and it's of this uh, opening. And this is actually another opening to this cave, this shelter area. Here's the main one. And here's the other one where you can go out. Uh, not as wide, of course. What I'm gonna try to do, I've got the composition already set up. I'm going to blow this out because there's not a really a lot, whole lot going on back here, but there is, along this bluff here. So we got some ridges and uh, just a lot of shapes. So um, what I've got over here is, you know, another light source coming through, graffiti, and uh, I'm gonna minimize this. So we've got this nice line here that leads you to the opening or vice versa. You can look at the opening and you're led back into the picture this way. So we've got two lines that kind of sweep this way. We've got this interesting object here. And we've got the uh, bluff or the cliff here kind of just bridging up. So a lot going on in this photo. So I think it's going to turn out well. found another composition here and I really like this um, exit point here 
through this hole. Uh, so this is just a jumble of rocks and I'll, I'll get some close-ups of it for you or some long views out. Uh, the cave is just right over here that I just shot with the tree in it. And um, I've always liked this area here. Always thought it looked like Patrick from SpongeBob uh, just running through a wall. Uh, I don't know if that's what it looks like to you. Uh, it, if you think it looks like something different, just comment below. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of rocks and detail in here that I can get. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool. Now, of course, this is going to be a black and white like most of my Ends of the Rock series photos. But uh, I think it's worthy of uh, some time getting this composition set up. And uh, yeah, we'll take a picture of it and I'll show you what we get. Like I said, it's just a rock jumble. Right over here is the cave entrance that I was just in with a tree right back through there. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this sweeping view of this, this rock here. And I've got some rocks down here and there's like a nice line leaning into that opening. So here's what I've got. Now I do have a little graffiti right here, but I should be able to take that out in Photoshop or in Lightroom, make it look more natural. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll have to photo stack. I may try to get this area back in here uh, a little bit brighter to get some more detail in there. But yeah, we'll take this picture here. F11, one second. So I headed down the passage to get B-roll for this film. But when I got to the end, you'll notice that I pause. What I saw was unexpected. There was more area to explore behind these rocks. So I headed up to check it out. I have visited Garden of the Gods for many years, but I never knew that this place existed. It always amazes me that there are new places to find, new places to explore. As I leave this new area, it is unbeknownst to me that the garden will slowly reveal its secrets over the next several weeks as I journey deeper inside the rock. As the temperature begins to soar and my water supply dwindles, I make my way to the final location of this trip. As you've seen from the video, um, I was making my way up into this shelter area and yeah, it's a pretty neat area. I mean, it, there is a lot of texture. Uh, we have this opening here. Uh, it doesn't really lead anywhere. There's just a small area back in there. Um, but wow, yeah, look at this, look at this rock. Yeah, this is just a great place to photograph. Now I positioned my camera down low. And the reason is uh, I wanted to minimize this area here, just the, the ground level and focus on this area. And then with a wide angle lens, I'm gonna distort this to make it look like it's, you know, just flowing up. Yep, as you can see there, I've uh, put the opening over to the uh, right hand side and I wanted to accentuate this area here so there's it's almost like a pattern right here that I wanted to go for and um, let me try to get this a little bit better yep so yeah that's the first composition that I found and uh, I think it's going to turn out really good so Okay, that's my light I've got positioned back here. And I wanna show you back here 
when I first set my light on. Kind of freaked me out. But there is a multitude of cave crickets back here. And I'm not sure how good you can see those. I mean, there's just... Yeah, there's literally just hundreds of these cave crickets in here. And they're pretty wild looking. If you've never seen one before, they, they probably would give you a little, a little fright. But yeah, they're all around here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch right in there. So cave crickets is the only thing I see in here that I'm, I'm in good shape. I'd rather see those than snakes or spiders. I'm going to get a picture of this in a vertical format. It's really dark in here. The only light I've got is uh, that entrance way. But um, yeah, I think it'll turn out really good. I've got this wider rock here and this wider rock here. And this has a lot of color and pattern in it. So yeah, so we're going to take this photo now and see how it turns out. All right, I'm headed back to the uh, car now. Um, pretty successful photo shoot. Uh, I ran, almost ran out of water, and like I said, it's it's over 100 degrees today. Uh, first week of July, so I'm I'm not going to chance it. There are several other places I could photograph back here, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to take it easy, and I'll come back here another time. So it may be a part two, or I may just stitch them together. So not for sure what I'm going to do right now on that part, but. Uh, yeah, it's well worth the drive over here. It's about an hour and a half for me. Not a whole lot of people on the trail. Um, there was some people that passed by later on in the day. But at the beginning, yeah, there just wasn't anybody out on this hot day. Which is what I was hoping for. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And uh, please like this video because it really helps out a lot. Bye for now.